Virgo. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please do hit like and subscribe. We're going to take a look at general, a little bit of general to see what other things are going on in your life because I know that you guys have <laughs> lives other than just love. Um, if love shows up here, we're definitely going to take a look on that, a look at that. I'm going to try to touch on every aspect. So this is a channel for Virgos. Um, you don't have to have a Virgo sun. You could be Virgo sun or moon rising or Venus. Okay. Um, and there's a link below the video if you're new and you don't know where you can get personal readings from me. I do offer them. All right. Obviously the first two cards out, a lustful fiery spirit. There's hope as well here. So I feel like this is really your energy, Virgo. You are, you've got some passion coming in here, something you're getting your hope back. You're making wishes, trying to make your dreams come true, wishes being restored. Um, it, it feels like, um, this is like the Knight of Wands energy. A lot of creativity I see coming here for you. And like going after what it is that you want in your life at this time okay okay victory recognition and applause so obviously there's something happening here where i feel like you're going to be very successful in whatever these passionate pursuits creative pursuits you are going after at this time in your life i mean it's a very positive energy for you virgo and um don't give up that's the message that i'm hearing don't give up so if you are um it's kind of like, um, I don't, I, I, sometimes it's difficult for me to describe the images that they're giving me, but it's like when somebody makes a trail of gum powder, powder and then lights it, <clears throat> that's you taking off here. Explosive power. Victory, you're going to be recognized for something, some recognition. People are going to, um, they're going to see you, <clears throat> what you're doing. And if you're in the spotlight or you've got something, whatever you're creating, I feel like this resonates a little bit with that reading that I gave recently. Whatever you're creating, whatever you're channeling, whatever you're trying to do here, like you've got this passion, this passion and the drive. Forget the talent. <laughs> it's the passion and the drive, which is what's going to bring you victory and recognition here. Okay, so whatever you have going on in your life, just... Virgo, keep it, keep going towards it. Keep driving. The Knight of Wands energy is basically like someone who uh, it's wheels in motion. It's the fire that sets them off and gets them its motivation. And I feel like once you get started on this, then the fire heats up and then you go, go, go. Okay, let's see what else is coming up here for you, Virgo. Okay, <clears throat> your secrets are safe. Okay, so there is definitely something here that I feel like you're not telling anybody about just yet, but you're very focused on what you're doing. Um, right now, I feel like it's a hush, hush. Look, you've got the black cat. So your luck will soon change. This is amazing. This is amazing, <laughs> Virgo. Whatever you're trying to accomplish here, it, it feels like wow i i don't know if it's career it's a creative endeavor if you are like listening to this and you're like i'm not really sure what my creative endeavor is excuse me catching a bit of a cold if you're not 100 percent sure what that is i feel like you're soon gonna come across this um right now you might have a lot of things that you're trying to improve upon in your life or things you're trying to create or maybe you just don't ever feel like you're a creative person um but there's some type of an aha moment there's some something that comes to you where you're like that's it that's the that's the ticket that's the way to go this is the thing that i have to do and then that's where that motivation and that fiery passionate spirit comes and just lifts you it's almost as if you you will be carried to your destiny here let me see what else is going on that's crazy okay you have the spirit unseen forces watch over you so that's what i'm saying you're, you're going to be carried and lifted through I, I don't feel like you're you're going to be exhausted it's almost as if you're going to be carried to your destination because it's you'll know virgo you have to trust you'll know when this thing comes or maybe some of you already know when this idea um 
this concept, when this this thing comes to you, it's all just gonna, it's like you're gonna plug in and completely get it. It's, it's, it could connect to something very spiritual as, as well, but there's unseen forces connected to this that are carrying you through, watching over you as you go through this. It's almost like spirits in the driver's seat and you're in the passenger seat with all your ideas and you're directing the path, but you don't have to be the one in the car to do it. You're, it feels like you're gonna be carried to this, the success whatever's going on in your life i can't even believe it it's amazing okay you've got the key locked doors can now be opened so this is what i'm talking about like this is so magical and it feels very positive i feel very happy for you whatever you've got going on in your life some of you um look i with the key you know, it could be key to a new car or key to a home or key to something, okay, to unlock something. But symbolically, it just feels more along the lines of it's go time. You're going to know when it's time to go. If you're in doubt, um, that's because it's not time to do something yet. It's not time to go forward with something it everything's just gonna it's like um like the big bang everything's just gonna come together at the right time and have all of the ingredients and create all of the um necessary components and all the variables will come together and and it's like you're just gonna know when to move forward let me take a look i'm gonna see one more show virgo one more card what is this energy playing out here okay the chimera this feels a little similar to the other reading where imagination clouds your judgment don't be distracted don't be distracted once you get clear like right now you might feel like oh i don't know i'm not sure how can i take my thoughts and my dreams like the seven of cups bring it to reality um you might still be kind of in that place right now where everything's up in the air visions of grandeur you don't know how you can make something real um <clears throat> I wouldn't even focus too much on that because I feel like all the elements, like I said, are just going to play in together and everything's just going to come together for you. And so don't try to, don't get lost too much in fantasies or daydreams too much because I just feel like that will take you away from your goal, whatever you're trying, whatever's coming. It's just really feels more like a waste of time and of course you have the maiden so there is a new relationship showing up here for you in this time period in may so there is going to be a new relationship that also blossoms and this could be connected to something that you are um building or doing you could have um be partnering up with some someone in a creative endeavor or something coming together okay so that energy there is feels a little bit like the other day um, also, okay, right when I was putting these cards away, they just called me to the caduceus here and also the chalice. So you will soon receive news from afar and also rejuvenation and fulfillment. There's a blessing. This is the ace of cups and the two of cups energy here. Um, definitely some type of partnership. Could it be romantic? Absolutely. For the month of May. Um, this has to do with this news is coming either it's coming from a person, but it's from far away. Okay. It's not from where you currently are. So it could come through uh, a letter, physical, uh, like snail mail, it could be an email, it could be a phone call, it could be a text. It's coming through by way of news, okay, virtually, or somebody delivers a piece of news to you. It could come from your mailman, <laughs> okay? But this news is going to rejuvenate you, okay? Whatever this energy is, because that caduceus definitely represents some type of partnership, healing. Um, it could have something to do with your health, um, it could have something to do with like, um, they're just telling me medicine getting approved, maybe from insurance. 
um, as well. It could be for others drinking from the um, the holy cup, <laughs> um, getting rejuvenated. Some of you may be starting a juice business or um, partnering up with some type of healing modality. It could be in medicine or holistic medicine. Uh, and again, as I said, an, an ace of cups, there could be news about a baby, um, a marriage, a proposal. Okay, there's you're definitely going to be receiving some type of proposal that so with that with that cup here, this kind of it's like it, it, it it's a key development on your emotional state where it brings healing. It's healing news that comes in. So it makes you feel rejuvenated and fulfilled. You have fulfillment here. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. All right, let's get into the tarot and see what messages you have here. See if we can extrapolate on some of these messages here for you. So you've got some major, um, like, aha. You just, right now, I know, you're like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Some of you might feel that way. But sometime in May, it's all going to click. I feel like everything's going to click, and you're going to know what to do. And then Spirit's just going to carry you through. And there's going to be that fulfillment and rejuvenation that goes along with that, like finally getting the needs met that you've been longing to have met in, in whatever particular area of your life that you feel that lack, that's going to come in. Okay, show us the tarot. Show us tarot messages. Spirit, what does Virgo need to know, these tarot messages? Okay, there you go. You've got the karma card here. So this is definitely an awakening. As I was saying, um, this is judgment. So clarity, 100% is coming to you. Uh, uh, your life's purpose is going to be revealed to you. Um, and I feel, I don't know if there is, I don't think there's an eclipse in, in May. Um, but there might be. I could be wrong. I don't often follow the moon. <laughs> I know there's a full moon, May 16th. Hold on a second. Let me look and see. No, I'm not looking at any. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing any eclipses. Okay. Um, some of you, when there was an eclipse, you had an awakening about what you need to do. I feel like sometime around the 20th of May, it's something is that's around maybe that week and I feel like that's after the full moon so um no yeah that week of the full moon I feel like whatever has been eclipsed in your life whatever you haven't been able to understand or see because actually this is a full moon here and the sun is behind it Okay, so the light, it, it's going to shine. You're going to understand. So that karma card here, this is like everything coming full circle for you. Okay, you're going to get what all the good that you've put out, whatever has, everything's coming back to you. You know the old saying, karma returns, what you put out, you get in return. This is coming to you it, around that week of May 20th. And I feel like, that'll be like from may 15th through the 21st so that's like the third week of may things are really going to open up let me see what else is coming here for you okay there is a connection to a queen of swords okay this is a female so this would be libra gemini aquarius um and this is an energy here of honesty and truth and self-awareness I do feel like um, there is somebody here here uh, that you'll have a conversation with in the month of May who's going to um, help you make some kind of a, a final decision. It's going to help you with something. Okay, this could be male or female energy. It brings truth and clarity. So it's definitely going to give you some kind of wake-up call. <laughs> And I don't feel like it's negative at all. I feel like it's it's a revelation. I feel like it's um 
a feeling of being born again that's what that rejuvenation is so it's coming through as like a a huge wake up and this queen of swords male or female energy has something to do with this okay let me see okay five of wands interesting so okay so there's going to be something here to do with challenges and obstacles okay maybe even some rivalry all right i feel like there's a message coming in here related to an air sign where the message is going to be despite the challenges despite the obstacles this can work this is going to happen um this is i'm hearing the phrase crystal clear something somebody makes something crystal clear about some type of challenges and um that you like it's like you, you'll be able to overcome them that's why you had victory and applause and recognition this feels like um this person's in a supportive energy okay supportive to you let me see here what is this karma okay yep so you have the sun so scorpio leo aquarius gemini and libra um so the sun is like exposure this is positive energy on the karma card okay again this is success whatever this thing is that you have going on in your life that you are seeking some kind of success or a joyous outcome that aha moment that whole situation is going to come to fruition in may third week perhaps if it's not already happening for you now um i'm just hearing so i did say the 19th or uh, the 20th so like the 19th and the 20th i feel like with the sun light is going to shine that's what i was seeing here look because the light the sun is here behind the moon and it's illuminating the moon and that full moon energy where the full moon will be on may 16th that full moon energy it's going to i guess i want to say it feels like everything that has been unseen or that hasn't been clear that your intuition has been telling you but you haven't been able to see something manifest that's going to get exposed whatever was unseen is now going to come out into the open that's where the clarity comes all right let's take a look and see what else is here okay and there's that knight of wands again right so there you go passion driven spirit a lust for life this is beautiful this is like it's like it's going to be go time go time let me see what else is going on here i love this reading so far there you go so this is some kind of financial opportunity definitely or golden opportunity it doesn't have to be financial but a golden opportunity that is coming to you okay that's um like physical it's something you can touch something you can feel it could be um money coming to you it could be a gift of some sort that you're going after i don't feel like you're chasing material things you might be um but for some of you this feels mostly like an opportunity is is actually going to present itself for you to be able to charge and to also be and to to be to freely charge to be able to get where you need to go freely you'll have your passions are going to kick up is what i feel like is going on here let me see i feel like for some of you you're going to it's like maybe you'll get a loan or you're you're going to get some kind of you know what are you guys able to hear me i'm trying to turn up my um i think i ha i have my volume up as loud as loud as i could have it up hopefully that's hopefully that's loud enough but it feels like um you're gonna be given 
it feels like an opportunity to be able to move forward the way you want to move forward to have the opportunity to go in the direction of your dreams and your plans that's what i feel like is happening here it's so there's a gift of some sort being offered to you okay uh, let me see so definitely receiving some kind look at that queen of pentacles there you go that's you that's you receiving that gift here okay your abundance you're going to have the opportunity the resources will be provided to you to go towards the direction of whatever you're trying to create or whatever you're trying to do here okay now i will say that we did see a little bit of love there so let's jump in and see what that you know the caduceus which is two of cups and the ace of cups let's take a look and see what that energy was playing out here what can what can spirit tell us about the love energy that's coming in love energy for virgo what is this love energy coming in here for virgo this feels like a new beginning <coughs> or something that's going to make you make your heart pitter patter <laughs> pitter patter love okay hold on a sec all right let's see tell us about this new love energy coming in here for virgo Oh, look at that. Okay, you have the Six of Cups. So there is a past reconciliation happening here with someone where something was very lovely and very nice. The Six of Cups is definitely an energy of nostalgia. Gifts, again, could be related to what I was just saying. Somebody could be bringing you a gift. Sincerity, um, innocence, reunion. Okay. Harmony. appreciation loyalty good memories someone that you had good memories with in the past lovely memories sweet enjoyable playful innocent memories with this is a return of a past um, let me see here wow temperance so we have Sagittarius energy so this is some things coming into balance here with someone from the, a past situation, moderation. Hmm. This is this is a very nice temperament here that is showing up here. This connection showing up very well balanced and equal, and like these are just such beautiful cards here. Oh, I just, some of you might have connected with someone around Easter, I feel. There might have been a connection. Some of you have um, children coming in to your past, uh, are coming back around, children coming home, I'm hearing. Okay, we're really going to get it. I'm going to take a look at this here. This is reminiscing as well about your children and if you have children that is or about when you were a child and how i feel like how easy or balanced things were this is also thinking about a sibling <clears throat> you're um, they're saying if one of your siblings has passed on um there's an angel there watching over wow just when i said that the star look how beautiful these cards are here so now we have aquarian energy there's a lot of healing coming here some of you so you know the star generally means renewal hope inner clarity a miracle having faith being in the spotlight so there's definitely, um, I feel like there's a, someone from your past returning or um, coming into your life where there's an even, um, even tempered, even maybe somebody's name is Steve or Stephen or St a Stephen watching over you. 
but I feel like there's a healing. This is like a miracle. This is like beautiful. This is like a miracle. It's a miracle I'm hearing someone from your your past returning to your life. Okay. Or um, so when I say it, it could be love, romantic. It could be um, a family member. It could be a friend, a childhood friend, or someone that you knew, or maybe even someone that you had an interest in when you were younger. And now there's kind of like a reunion happening here in May between two people, and you know it, it's kind of like a fondness for each other gets discovered, and it's almost like a miracle for some of you. I feel like. Uh, maybe somebody you knew a long time ago and it, it something never came to fruition. I feel like it's coming to fruition in May. Look at that. I have the Ace of Cups again right down here. And also the Emperor. So Aries energy here. Okay, for some of you, 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 you do have a father figure coming back into your life. Um, or an Aries coming into your life. <clears throat> For some of you, there's um, rekindling and a healing um, with, a f with maybe a spouse. For others, um, there's a proposal with someone from your, from your past. There's marriage on the, on the table. There's new love blossoming here. For some, there's a pregnancy. Somebody's having twins or there's another child. Maybe there's a grandchild, okay? Um, there's some information. There's some news coming in. And for some of you, this is like a miracle. A miracle baby, I'm hearing, for some. Or two. <laughs> two babies. <laughs> An even-tempered <clears throat> um, child. Uh, like, uh, in other words, like a pregnancy or, of some sort is going to go well, or reconnecting with a grandparent or grandchildren. This is amazing. Um, hold on. Some of you are um, healing a past relationship with someone that you had children with. Um, there, for some, it's just. What, if there was any turmoil or struggle with them, that's over with, okay? And now there's like civility and just reminiscing about when times were good and being able to be friendly with one another. Let's see what else they have here for you. Okay, so here you have strength. Look at all this major arcana. So Leo energy here. Um, I've, I'm getting a sense of like unconditional love here is coming in. Somebody loving you or loves you unconditionally. For others, if you don't have children with someone in particular at all, um, this is just somebody here coming forward who sits in the position of the emperor where this person is um, very well respected, mature, um, likable. Um, this might be somebody from your past. This could be somebody that you knew um, that's been thinking about you and tries to reconnect with you again, has the confidence, reaches out. Um, this person has very deep, unconditional love for you and a lot of, um, you know, um, respect for you. Okay. If this is your, listen, remember, I said it's a miracle, okay? Because I know some of you like, that's no way, but I'm telling you, it's a miracle. This is completely unexpected, what's coming through here from somebody with this love connection, okay? The Ace of Cups twice, and then you had the Caduceus. So it's a healing. Yeah, it's going to be a shock, actually. <laughs> it's going to be a complete shock. Okay, things because things are changing. It's a new chapter that's starting here with somebody. Okay, this person's coming in to talk to you. Absolutely. Um, very curious about you. How have you been? What have you done with your life? Um, how have things gone? <clears throat> what have you been up to the past 30, 20, 10 years, five years, whatever it might be? Um, or however long? 
if you knew this person in the past. So there's definitely a lot of communication that's going to come about, but this begins, there's like a new love start happening here. I mean, it, it could be connected to, like I was saying, what's going on here, some type of partnership or proposal. Um, it just feels to me like you guys have a lot of good stuff coming up. You know, May is spring. Obviously, the flowers are blooming. It's new beginnings happening here for you guys. We also have um, Taurus energy I'm picking up. Look, I shuffled again. And there's a knight of wands yet again so it's both things you know whatever creativity or things that you're trying to start in your life that are you know coming up for you i 100 percent feel like you're going to it's like you're going to be injected with this this positive energy going forward like things are going to get moving that lusty fiery passionate spirit comes back to you and it's also it's like hitting everybody you know and i feel like also with this person whoever this person is whatever was broken down before uh if there's a past history with this person it's an opportunity to rebuild again just as your life is also you're having the opportunity to rebuild again that aha moment where you, everything i feel like everything is just coming together the enthusiasm is off the charts here with somebody and in your life, it's all it, it, like the energy is touching down in every area of your life here. Let me see here. Okay. So there could be a proposal, a reunion of some sort happening here with some of you. There's like a brand new beginning coming in. And I love that. Let's get some more specific messages and see what else does. You know what? I'm going to pull couple of different cards here the Lenormand what else does Virgo need to know this energy coming through here oh, okay of course you have malady <laughs> yeah so you might be in a position right now where you're just kind of like oh I haven't been feeling well maybe you're not feeling well and I think I mentioned before make sure you're taking good why can't you see this? Make sure you're taking really good care of yourself if you're feeling sick, you know, or if you have a cold or anything like that. Make sure you're taking really good care of yourself because you've got a surprise. You've this, everything that's coming in here for you, big surprise. This is going to be like what? You're out there fishing. All you're trying to catch is a couple of fish and you pull up some clams with pearls in it. This is what I feel like is going on. Whoa, wait a minute. Some of you are going to be getting, um, okay, they're saying $6,000. $6,000 is coming to you, and you're not expecting that, okay? Um, there might be some of you that are um, needing to, you're ill, and, you know, maybe you're ill because you don't have enough money or um, to get well. I feel like some type of money is going to come in as a surprise, Okay, that's going to help you get in a better physical, mental state. Your mental might be affecting your physical or your physical is affecting your mental. Um, this feels like um, you're going to be able to afford some medicine. I think I said that in the beginning. Okay, look, you've got love. Keep it arrows. I feel like, you know, it's funny because I said, okay, well, let's try to take a break from love readings and let's just do some general readings. And if love shows up, then we'll touch on that. Love has just been showing up all over your reading. So, of course, can't get away from it. Um, so, Amore, there's Amore here. Okay, you've got some love coming in. This is like the third time now. Okay. So for some of you, if you're not feeling well, absolutely do some self-love, self-care kind of energy, okay? Don't skip your vitamins. Don't skip your healthy eating. Um, if you're feeling low, just get some rest. Don't skip out on your sleep, okay? You definitely are going to be getting like a lump sum coming in. It could be a, maybe it's tax return or some unfound money. I feel like this is going to be money that's coming to you that you you are not even expecting maybe you're expecting some but not this amount this is like extra and also um cupid's arrows is 100 going to be biting 
Okay, you've got room. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Room. Hmm. Okay, they're just saying, all right. Hold on a second. Oh, okay, I'm seeing you. Oh, they're saying the love room or room for love. I feel like you're you're gonna be in a room. It's a hotel room. I see you in a hotel room in May with these big windows, a hotel room, a love room with a lover, hotel room with a lover. It's definitely, but it feels like a, um, it, for some of you, it's a B and B, a bed and breakfast kind of thing, a bed and breakfast. I'm just seeing, um, Some of you are visiting um, grandmom's old house or something. Okay. Falseness. Hypocrisy. All right. What is going on here with hypocrisy? Oh, so, okay. The message here, there's a Leo in your life who's full of shit. <laughs> there's a leo in your life um so there's or it's a leo or it's a person who um and this is a very specific message they tell you that their cat does something but it's not true about their cat it could be like the cat's sick or something's going on with a cat maybe it's a vet they try to dupe you out of money i'm not sure but um there's falseness here that's attached to uh, someone that has a cat. Um, or a story. Somebody, okay, if, if you've lost your cat, I'm just hearing, and somebody tells you that they haven't seen your cat, but they actually do have your cat. That's a specific message for somebody. I don't know who this person is, but they they do have your cat okay <laughs> these are weird messages okay so you have oh yeah enemy okay so this feels like watch out because there's somebody here who's just full of crap right they it's hyperbole they embellish doesn't have to be a leo but it's just they kind of come off like that leo energy where they just say whatever they say and they don't really care if they lie and not that leos are liars but they just don't care what they say I, this feels more this doesn't feel like a lover this feels like someone who um this is like involving a friendship or a co-worker okay um uh, vanity i'm just hearing someone who's kind of vain so just watch out for that energy someone who's kind of vain okay here comes the money card right so like i said Again, with the money, you're getting a lot of money. Some of you are going to get 6,000. Some of you are going to get 2,000. Some of you are going to get 1,800. And somebody's getting 75,000. This, this might be an inheritance. Or you might be getting a loan or qualifying for a loan um, for something. Okay, qualifying for a loan. Um, for some of you, there's a remodeling of a particular room that you're, there's going to be money. You're going to be able to do that. It, um, there might be also um, money to help care for someone who's ill. That's coming in as well. And also, um, yeah, they're, so they're just saying, tell Virgo again, somebody stole their cat. <laughs> somebody, I'm sorry to say that. That's awful. When somebody stole your cat. Oh, look, okay. Mm. 
Okay, you have Lord, that's Landlord. So so if initially when I had the room card, I felt like initially that somebody's either gonna be able to rent a room of some sort, or maybe buy a hotel. There's Landlord energy here. So for the cat, I do feel like if you're trying to move somewhere or rent a place and they say no pets, um, that actually there's a legal stipulation with that like you you can you're legally allowed to have your pet i'm hearing but this landlord is not is saying that you can't but you can um so there may be some type of um you know maybe you pay money or something or they they try to swindle you or like in and try to charge you for like a pet deposit or something and then they're not legally allowed to do that i'm just hearing <laughs> Um, so there might be a dispute with a landlord and also um, you might become a landlord you might be um, or becoming um, able to sell a home okay um, that might be where all the money's coming from so if you have a home listed on the market or you're thinking about selling you'll you'll get it and if you're thinking about buying you're going to be approved to buy is what I'm hearing let me see what else is going on here look there you go house I know you can't see it, sorry. House, hotel. So you're definitely gonna be, yep, that's it, yep, yep. That house is coming through, you're gonna be able to get that. You're gonna be purchasing or selling your home, um, a home, okay, or a hotel or a commercial property definitely coming in here for you with a lot. Remember I was saying I see you in a hotel room? Could have been a love room for some of you. Um, piece of commercial property I'm hearing. Okay, let me see here. So, yep, there's the reunion card. Like I said, there's definitely a reunion connected to love coming in here where you are going to be in like some kind of room, like a lover's room with somebody here. Uh, maybe a room of your house, okay, or a room of somebody's house playing out here. Let me get the rest of these cards because I see... There's something, okay, doctor's office. Um, I see you going to being in a doctor's room or a doctor's office here in the month of May for some kind of illness. I don't feel like it's anything serious. Um, something to do also with a prison doctor or maybe somebody's a doctor in a prison here. Okay. Um, Okay, some of you are um, reuniting with someone who's um, a physician, could be like a lover or a friend, or, you're, or you could be a physician, you're going to some type of a reunion, or maybe graduation from like whenever ago, or you're going to some kind of, um, uh, you get invited to a party, a house party of some sort, or an event in a hotel for doctors or physicians. Okay, your landlord's going to prison. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, but you got to be really careful with money. Um, if you become a landlord as well, or if you're going to buy property or own property or sell, just be very careful with somebody in particular in the month of May, right? Because somebody's coming through as being false. They're not being truthful. So there may be like a money issue or a legal or a suit, lawsuit or a se settlement or something like that coming in here. Also be careful. Um, they're just saying that your cat might be ill or be careful that your cat doesn't get, can a cat give you a disease? Can a cat give you a viral disease or something? Be careful. Watch out for you if you have a cat or a pet. They're saying just a pet, a pet's illness of some sort. It might come as a little bit of surprise, like maybe they they eat something or something gets lodged. I'm not seeing death here, so don't worry about that. Okay. Um, also, if you're if you're feeling ill, you may be feeling ill. As I was saying, um, you'll be surprised. Somebody's going to come from your past and take care of you. Okay. Um, it could be a friend, it could be a lover, somebody's going to come to your house, sit with you in your room, or if you're in a hospital room, there's somebody who's going to be by your side helping you. Um, it, you're not going to expect this. I mean, giving a lot of love, love medicine, 
to help you when you're ill. It's very beautiful energy. Um, also be careful at some kind of reunion or an event that you go to. Um, you have, there might be somebody around you who's like, um, not someone you would normally commingle with. They, they're kind of, there's a jealousy, some type of a jealous energy attached to somebody here that uh, if it's like some kind of school reunion or something along those lines, there's somebody there who um, is, is a false friend, okay? So you want to keep your eye out for that. I feel like you're going to be sitting like at a table or if it's like a banquet or some kind of an event, maybe it's a wedding or family reunion or something, you know, try not to sit with that person. I'm just, and if you have to, just, you know, just try to keep your communication with them very minimal, not to give too much information, okay? Also, um, question the doctor. They're saying, get a second opinion. They're saying, get a second opinion. Okay, um, I'm trying to think now. Do I want to do any other messages? I think that's enough for May. So let's see how this goes. If this, if this reading, if you guys like this reading and you feel like we can continue doing this because it's pretty general, but it touches on all areas. If you want to continue with this, um, just leave me a comment if you like it and I'll just do this. We'll, we'll do this for a little bit and see how it goes. All right, you guys. So it's more predictive. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know. Um, and if I want to incorporate more cards, I will in the next readings. All right, you guys love you. I will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow's reading I'm going to do, and that will be for the um, I'm just going to do them Monday through Friday. And so I'm going to leave you the weekend reading tomorrow. All right, you guys love you. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.